Welcome Survivor to the Dishong Tower Challenge. An overhaul mod that confines a player to one brutal building, the Dishong Tower. A 14-story death trap that will fill to the weak from the strong. The only way to leave the tower is to fly from the rooftop with a gyrocopter. If you die before leaving the roof, you fail the challenge. You have one life. Go and make it count. I can't believe how dark it is. Okay, we better go inside. This is the Dishong Tower Challenge. It starts right now. Now this mod changes a lot about the game. It essentially takes the whole 7 days to die game and puts it into one building. All the zombies will drop different types of magazines and I do believe there's actually a trader inside somewhere. I hope it's Jen because I missed Jen. But I have yet to find them. There are four difficulties for this mod which are based on the biomes. We have the forest, the snow, the desert and now the wasteland which is what I'm in now. Because you know, why not make it even harder on myself? We also have a starter pack. Let's open that up, see what's inside. We have a bunch of goodies. We have a knife. That'll be my weapon for now. And a bunch of other stuff there. Let's put that bandage on there. I think I'm going to need it. Also on the top right, we've got uh, prove your worth. Kill any zombie. So I guess that's our starting quest. Okay, this is next door. Oh, I cannot see a thing. This is bad. Okay, so you'll see the zombies do drop bags. Awesome. I can't believe how dark it is. Sorry if it's really dark for you. It's also really dark for me, so don't worry. It's just the uh, it's just the wasteland because I don't know why I did the wasteland. Why did I do the wasteland? I really wouldn't mind a helmet flashlight mod right now. I can definitely hear someone in here. Oop, on the left. Come on out. I can't see you. Oh, Sharon. What's up, Shaz? What do you got, Shaz? Nothing. So I'm basically going to pick up everything I can find and try and scrap it because I'm not sure... Ooh, big hitters. Big hitters and a handy land. Because I'm not sure what I'm going to need. There's also an ammo pile here. I'll take everything. I'll take everything and I'll break down everything. Now, because I can't leave the building, they've added a lot of things into different items which you can break down as normal. We've got our grass fiber here. I can imagine if I break these down, I'll get some clay. Yep, there's some clay. So it's all pretty intuitive. But it's going to take a while to learn what's what. There's a savage country here. I can see a zombie laying in front of me. Let's see if I can wake him up. Okay, this is, this is ridiculous for, for light. Maybe I shouldn't have gone wasteland. I'm starting to regret everything. But I've got a few racks here I can go through. And I've woken someone up. Ooh, one shot wonder. Oh, some more coming. What's going on, Daz? I do like the fact that they do bleed out if we stab them with a knife. I'll use that to my advantage as much as I can. But I really gotta watch my stamina. Eh, nasty! That wasn't terrifying. I don't know what it is. You'll also see it says restock on day 8. That's because uh, loot respawn is on as per the mod designer's intent. Purely because if you if you didn't have that respawn on, you'd probably get to the top of the building and you wouldn't have enough stuff to leave with a gyrocopter, so therefore kind of a waste of time. So we'll see how we go though. I need to get used to the fact that they don't disappear when you've looted them though. That'll take a little bit. I do like this entryway though. I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, these are actually concrete pillars. And these are steel? Yes, this whole uh, front desk here is actually steel. So that might be a good spot for a base. Maybe even a horde base, because yes, I'll have to do hordes in this building as well. It's a cracker book in here. Yep, it's Daz. Crap on Daz. Um, I might come back to the books purely because I wouldn't mind putting some points into some skills before I come back and read some books. Maybe if I get these 10 zombies, I'll, that'll be my starter quest and I can actually get 4 points. Yes. Come out here in the, in the light, I can't see anything. It's Arlene as well. Okay, that was my quest done. Medical journal there. That was a nurse, that makes sense. And a cooking book. So from all that, we've got a electrical traps, bow hunters. Goth pants, I'm going to wear them straight away. And this, okay, so this is what I got from my quest reward. 
We got nerdy glasses. Put them on straight away. I got a, I got a wrench and I got a, yes. Oh yes. Okay, so I got a padded hood there and and mercifully they did give me a helmet light mod. So let's chuck that on straight away. That'll be super super needed. We have a hunter's journal here. Uh, do do ten percent more damage to bears. That may be useful. I really hope it isn't useful, but you never know. West End Treasures Volume Three uh, adds a chance to harvest acid from cars, medical equipment, and okay, awesome. And then use that cooking book. Let's reset everything. Let's scrap that. Scrap that. Uh, shorts. We'll scrap it. Tank top. Scrap. 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 I'm not sure what, how much cloth I'm going to need or anything like that. So let's just get as much as possible. So let's now try that uh, helmet light mod. Much better. Much better. That's a great win. I'm glad the game did that for me. Well done, mod. So even these pot plants you can pick up and we can scrap them for clay. Yes. So everything's pick upable, everything's scrappable. And I'm going to need to do a lot. While we're here, let's put our base up on this info sign for now, up off the ground, which is all steel. And I do believe I can, I think I can break these down as well. Yep, that'll give me stone and sand. I also think you can actually grow crops in these, but these ones I'm just going to clear out of the way because they are in the way a little bit. Did I find everything? Oh, I missed the rubbish in here. We have to go back and just make sure I got everything from the other rooms that I couldn't see what I was doing in. So the question is, did I actually get any points from that? And yes, I got four points, so it's just like the normal quest. And I've noticed, noticed this has changed now. It's got a whole bunch of parts for the gyrocopter, which is a bit terrifying. But for first things first, we're going to put some points in perception. I want to go with spear. So let's put a point there. We're also going to go dead eye, which is a rifles. One in there. And because we're going to do a lot of looting, I'm thinking lucky loot is a good idea as well. Chuck one in there. We've got one left. Let's put it straight back into perception. Awesome. Now we've done that, we can loot the cracker book. So let's jump in here, grab all these books. And hopefully we'll get some spear magazines. Okay, that's all that done. So out of all that, I got explosive magazine, get hammered, handgun magazine, cooking weekly, rifle world, two of them. And I got when sneaking, you always land silently unless you are taking damage and jump height is not reduced. That's awesome. Great. That'll work out really well for this mod and this challenge. Okay, so that's all the books I can find. Let's jump up in here. Can I make myself... I need to make a couple of blocks. Three, it's not a lot. Uh, what are these made of? Okay, they're timber. Let me just harvest all these and I wanna make myself some boxes and we'll put it on top of this uh, info center here. Okay, so we've got some of these. Let's put them down. Let's make ourselves a ladder to get up here. And let's make ourselves two boxes for now. And another one there. Oh, there's a bag here. For a cooking magazine. So we're going to dump all our stuff in here. Let me just scrap that. Let's dump it in. Oh, my lockable slots isn't working. Is that a thing from the mod or is that just not working in the game yet? I don't know. Maybe it's just the mod stuffing that up. But um, that's, a, that's annoying because uh, that'd be really handy. Question is, can I make myself a spear? I might as well make a spear now, purely because, yes, I can. It's level one, but stuff it. Let's do it. <sighs> okay, so far, so good. Because we're done with the bottom level, let's head up to level one now. And I'll go this way first. Plenty of, plenty of, um... Oh, it's definitely plenty of pot plants. Oh, damn it, that got me. I really can't afford to miss these headshots too. I've also got to learn the distance and watch my stamina. Because the spear uses a lot more stamina than the knife. Oh, he dropped two bags. So they still drop normal bags like in the original vanilla game. Good to know. Snowballs from the <laughs> from the lumberjack. That makes sense. Sharp sticks. That's handy. Let's make them as possible, please. I don't know how we're gonna go with zombies just walking from the outside. I'm gonna have to deal with that as we go because uh, those front doors aren't gonna hold them back too long. Uh, even if I put doors up, they're just gonna break them down anyway, especially in horde night. So plus I haven't got resources. I just I don't have the resources. 
Tools digest and electrical traps. Well, let's move around the corner. God, that is annoying, that buzzing, though. Oh, how did you wake up? Lumberjacks. There is plenty of lumberjacks here. I guess we're in the snow biome. That makes... Oh, no, up in the wasteland. What am I talking about? That doesn't make any sense there. Yep, they're just walking in now. Great. What's this? Popping pills. Might be some meds in here. Ooh, what is wrong with your hand? That is disgusting. I don't know if that's new. Are you a new thing? Or has that always been thing and I just haven't noticed? Medical journal. Ooh, a beaker. Handy. Aloe vera. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Moving on to the other side. Little kiosk here. Oh, there's a Dazza. Hey, yeah, Daz. Oh, you cheeky bastard. The old dip and dive, huh? I got a bad feeling they're gonna walk up. Oh, radiated. Okay, now they're definitely just walking off the street now. That's not ideal. This is going to be really tough. I really got to deal with this this hazmat here. Ooh, one hit. Three headshots. That'll do it. Some dukes and some uh, ammunition here. Seven six two, perfect. That'll go well with my rifle, which I'm going to make soon. I might even need to gather these for timber. Purely because I want to make some more, um... I kind of need to make as many hatches as I can to try and get myself out of trouble. And blocks in general. I don't know where the trader is. I don't know what level the trader's on. If there is one. So I need to be prepared, that's all. What are these? Plastic? Yeah, I don't need that. So we got this elevator shaft, which I remember is... Pretty much the way to get around this tower. Journal in there, and we're up to the next level, which I do believe is uh, level two. We're on the second level. So I'm pretty encumbered. I don't think we're gonna. I don't think I'll clear the entire level. I just want to do this side of it, and I'll go downstairs and we'll stash our loot. What time is it? Five thirty. Not too late. I really don't want to be around here at night, to be honest. I, I, I want to be on top of that, our little base area. Really don't give you a lot, the, uh, the businessman. Don't mind the baby. It's just totally normal stuff. Oh, some books right here. I didn't even notice. No, I'm extremely encumbered. Ooh, off-road lights. Is that going to be useful at all? I don't know, but I'm going to read it just in case. Scrap all these. That big is a bit of a win. 200, 200 dukes. So there's plenty of vending machines around as well. So the dukes are really, really important. And um, I think this is where I was. Yes. So let's drop down here. And uh, stash our loot. Pretty sure these pot plants are also just appearing again. I could be wrong. I guess the question is, can I make a pipe rifle? So six iron pipes, glue and wood. Do I have the glue and the wood? I have the... I do. Okay, we can. So let's make that now. Why not? Use that 762. So we're going to need all the help we can get. Is this a stairwell? I think it might be. If this is a stairwell, I think I'm going to add some stairs in here and I'll... That'll be a quicker way to get to the levels than going around this way every time. But uh, first things first. It's good to have plans, but I need to be, you know, realistic. I'm going to keep an eye on the time. I don't want to spend too much time up here. If it gets night time, we're out. What are you doing here, Candy? Electrical parts. Okay, that's needed. Oh, I see. At the top right now, I've got one out of 33. I've also noticed it's got one of four. So the gyrocopter needs a lot of parts, which is a little bit of a worry. Oh, I see a businessman there. I'd like a silent way to get him. 
There's two. Ooh, nice pile here. Bit of everything. And, uh, ooh, two Shamway boxes. Perfect. Perfect timing, being hungry and all. Okay, there's a... Oh, there's an outdoor bit here. Businessman in here, of course. Oh, it's a feral. Oh, I took him out in one hit, too. Oh, that was lucky. Okay, last room. I think we're going to look in, then we have to go. We have to get out of here. Any zombies? No. That's a first. Oh, I see. A bit of parkour. Oh, there's a box out there. Okay. Well, tomorrow, that'll be our next port of call. Uh, we haven't got time tonight, though, so I'm just going to basically hightail it back to the uh, my little safe zone. What should we call that? We should call that the info desk. Maybe we'll just call it info. Head back to info. I like it. Let's do it. Oh, good morning. Awesome. Let me just deal with this guy. So yeah, didn't really miss a lot. I was just uh, organizing my loot last night, and I did realize I could make the bow, because I did find some steel arrows. I was also thinking about the base I wanted to build. Now, if I do build in the info sign, I'm thinking about a tunnel coming from either this side or straight up from these stairs over to me. This will be the fighting position here. And if I can line up the Zambies in a line, it'll work really well with the spear and the rifle. I'll have to think about it more, but I, I like the idea of having a sort of a, a tunnel system that'll line up all the Zambies. But anyway, where were we? We were on level two, I think. So let's head back up there and let's continue our searching for goodness and stuff. Oh, also, I've added these stairs in to make it a lot easier to get back up to the levels I'm on, so... Yay me! Yes, yeah, so the last part we were at was here, and we had to do some hardcore parkour. Parkour! To get over this side, so let's do that now. So I've got to be real careful here, because if I drop down here and I hit the ground, the challenge is over. Okay, so far so good. Now that ooh, good bit of ammo there. Okay, so this is like a business room. Can I get in here? Yes. Oh. Okay, a couple of business. Oh, multiple businessmen. All right. This might be a good time to try the bow. I think if I can do this silently, at least take a couple out. That'll be better. Zambies in there. One down. Skill point. Oh, there's candy in there as well. Shut that. Can I poke you through the hole? As long as Vladislav the Boker. That'd be awesome. Take that, girls. No offense, but uh, screw you. That's a bit janky, but there we go. Okay, that bird outside is getting mighty annoying, but uh, not a lot I can do about it because I can't go outside to uh, get rid of it, so. Hopefully it'll just sort of go away or die, preferably. 
One thing I was thinking about just then too, this projector, I've noticed in the uh, the my next quest for the gyrocopter, it's got uh, gather headlights. I need eight of them. I wonder if there will be lamps in these. That would make a lot of logical sense. But I don't know if logic is part of this mod or not. Let's find out. And it is. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. I'm glad of that. Ooh, acid in there. Some more cash. Okay, I'm guessing that's the way to go up. But am I done here? I think I might be. Now, I know one of these levels is um, a construction level. And if that's still the case, we'll get a lot of materials out of that. Uh, do I want to wear that? E yes, I think I do. Yes. It looks better anyway. So scrap that. I don't want to wear a singlet. No one wears singlets. No one cool wears singlets. All right. So we're on to the rest of the level now. Lucky looter. Find more medical supplies in loot. That'll come in handy. Morning, boys. Some books here. Got a rifle world and a spears. Okay, so we got level two spear now. Well, that's annoying because I just made this one, but that's okay. Maybe I'll wait till level three before I change. Oh, yes. I got my grip mod schematic. That's a win. Read that straight away. Not that I can make anything because I need a workbench, but, um, you know, at least I'll have them. I should really break down this vending machine if it's not working. Uh, it'll be full of uh, really good materials, so because it's not working, I don't mind breaking that one after I get rid of these guys. Wake up, boys. The reach is so good. Okay, so let's break down this vending machine, because surely it's got some goodness. Also, I need to re make sure this is reloaded. It wasn't. I'm glad I did that, because I'll probably need it in a few seconds. I just got this feeling that there's going to be a bunch of zombies right around this corner. Ah. Wasn't just quick enough on that one. Can imagine there were a few around here. Ooh, a dog. None of that, please. Wake up. Okay, the big officer that way. Let me see what's in here. Oh. Okay, that wasn't ideal. Two at one. Well, one hit each. Last night I did put another point into spears as well, which I think is helping a fair bit. And we're about to test that theory. Ah, there's only one guy. Oh, I didn't even see you in there. Sorry, my bad. Oh, close your legs. then what's in here so yeah these these blocks are actually quite good for resources so I'm gonna mine all these if I can this should have clay probably cobblestone and probably stone maybe just stone and clay that's fine up oh, sand as well that's fine ah there's the cobblestone well only one seems hardly worth it you know what I would love some hand tools my kingdom for some hand tools you don't really realize how much you need those things until you haven't got them again. Scrapping and a furious fists. These farm cabinets are pretty much gold for magazines. So, we are about to head up, but I might just go back down and do my stash run before we continue. So I'll see you downstairs, then we'll head up to level whatever that is. Four. I, I, I lose track. There 
There's a lot happening outside. Oh, they're inside. They're all inside. I can hear it. I can hear spiders. I can hear everything. This might be bad. Alright, we've made it back from our stash run and we're about to head into uh, level 5, which I do believe should be... Yes, it is the construction level, so there is a whole ton of uh, construction materials up here, which I'm gonna spend a fair bit of time uh, harvesting. Let's start off with this room right here. And I can already see a little chap in the corner. Hey, bud. Oh, there's more than one. That isn't good. Oops. There's a Fireman's Almanac there. Craft Fireman's Helmets and take 5% less damage when wearing them. What I might do is I might just clear out the whole floor. Then I'll come back and do some uh, farming for materials, I think. So I've noticed there's um, the main loot here, so let's go through this. Bunch, a whole bunch of ammunition there. Bit of food. And a magazine. And some meds. And a journal as well. That's a win. There's actually more this way. So while we're at it, let's keep clearing. So we can have the whole floor to ourselves. Another Farmer's Almanac. Craft a Farmer's Axe modification, uh, deal 25% more damage to blocks, uh, but 25% less damage to enemies. That's still a win. I'm still going to read that one, and I hope I can make a Fire Axe pretty soon, actually. Did I get that bag? I can't remember. i got to go back that way anyway. So let's start harvesting. I'm not going to bore you with the harvesting part, but I'm basically going to break down as much of this stuff as I can. While we're at it, let's just see what these saws have. It's forged iron, uh, mechanical parts, Springs. I believe there was something in these that I read in the uh, the mod information. But I just can't remember what it was. A battery. That's it. That's how you get batteries. Okay, so there are batteries in the in the table saws. Good to know. So as I was saying, I'm gonna get as much of this stuff as I can. Uh, I'll get back to you once I've finished harvesting all I need. And we've been uh, mining for quite a while now. So it's I've just realised the time's 2200. Uh, it's really time to go. Well, it's 22, uh, 22.30. I think that'll do it for now. Let's go back to the way we came. And it's time to go back down to the base. Down to the info center. Down, down to info. They do not sound good. Oh, it's a feral businessman downstairs. I should really take him out, actually. Come here, bud. Where'd he go? Surprise, cockpits! Look at everything I've done in the last few days. Uh, I've done a lot. 
So let me just walk you through it real quickly. I'll try not to ramble too much. This is what I've done for the base. The zombies will come across this way, and this is my fighting position in here. I know I said in the other episode that I was going to make a long tunnel for the uh, zombies to walk down. I think I still will. My plan on this side is to make that tunnel. So I'll have two fighting positions if I need. Uh, but for starters, we'll just start off with this one. I'm going to call this one the mustache because it kind of looks like a mustache. I also knocked all these out, the, these grills, except for the one with the bag in it. Now, let me just go inside and I'll show you inside real quick. If I can get upstairs. I don't love this hole in the floor, but I kind of want to keep that bag there because it will uh, reset every every seven days. And this is what it looks like inside. You can see these two uh, angles on the side here. This is purely so I can uh, line up my shots down the uh, side of the, the mustaches here. So if I go straight to the side, it'll actually hold me in the right angle-ish. Now, I did have bars here, but then I realized you couldn't actually hit through bars with the spear. <laughs> This is the balustrade, I think it's called, but it's the broken one, so I, I can actually fight through this a lot easier. So, we'll have to see how this works out. I don't know if cop spit will go through it, but we're going to find out pretty quickly. Being that it's only day three, I'm not too... well, it's day four now. I just realized I spent the entire day doing all this, so I've kind of wasted a day. Being that it's only day four, I'm not too stressed, but we'll see how we go. So that is the new base upgrades, and I've also put in this front door. So, against my better judgment, I have included this front door because... I just got really sick of the zombies just walking in. The biggest issue with this base so far has been actually the timber. I've had to scrap every single thing in these first two levels, including the handrails, which were timber. That's how desperate I got just to make this timber to make this uh, this base frame here. But I'm kind of happy. We're pretty good. It's all up to cobblestone where the main parts are now. So now I can focus on clearing out more levels. And we need to go back upstairs to level five and carry on our level clearing. Okay, so here we are at uh, level 4 here. You can see I've cleared everything out completely. But uh, before I forget, I did find this random room downstairs that I completely forgot to loot. And in there I found the cigar, which is a win. Also found some magazines, and I also have some skill points to spend. I made a slight mistake the other day that I didn't show on camera, but I put a point into minus 69 and a point into mother load. Now that's not a bad thing, but I also just realized, after I put the points in, that that's for mining. I can't do any mining. What I'm doing is scavenging. I should have put those points into salvage operations. So I've got two points available. Let's do one of them into that. And then the next one I'm going to do into advanced engineering because I've got none of that in there yet and I still need to get the forge. Apologies if my voice sounds a bit annoying. I do have a bit of a cold, so I'll try not to talk too much, but I kind of have to. If I remember correctly, I think level five has a pool in it and a lot of zombies. So this could be interesting. Yes, this this rings a bell. There's a gym and there's also a pool. You'll also notice that I have upgraded my spear to level three. Yes, there's the pool. So far no zombies, which is strange. I see a big boy up there. Oh! Okay, that was a trigger. That was a trap. Okay, we are reversing, we are reversing. They didn't go to plan because uh, I just triggered a whole bunch of zombies and I had nowhere to really uh, back up and hide there, so... So I got some magazines there. They're all ferals. Okay, so this is not a super great spot, but it's not too bad either. How many are left? Oh, there's a feral. Okay, this is bad. Oh, 52 health points. That was not ideal. They were all ferals. 
Alrighty, let's just um, compose ourselves and carry on. I don't have a lot of meds. That's one thing I don't have a lot of. And that wasn't that wasn't even the main pool room. That was just the, the room before it. The problem is I, I came to here and I triggered him and there's nowhere to stand my ground here at all. This is massive open doorway here that I couldn't really hold off. So let's hope the next pool room doesn't have that same problem. Okay, so I do think this is actually the door, one of the doors into the pool room. Let me just double check. What I'd like to do is if I could put this, if I put that here, that'll give me a couple of seconds. Look at him up there. And let's do our best at taking him out. I doubt I'll get, I'll get him in one hit. Okay, so he's woken up. Lucky looter, let me get that in a sec. I don't know why I'm not using this. Oh, he got in the way. Took a bullet for the nurse. There we go. Okay, there's a crafting school magazine bundle. That's a win. And a forge ahead. We also got this lucky looter, which is find more dukes in loot. So let's open up that crafting bundle, see what we get. Two uh, spear magazines, now I can do spear quality four. I got two bow hunters and two knife guys. Okay, so that looks like it's about to break. Well, let's go quickly. Not too bad. Okay, there's a door. Oh! I didn't see you up there. I was wondering if there was anyone in here. Ow. Another forge ahead, and I can get another skill point in. Let's do that now before I forget. Let's do another salvage operations to make up for my mistake with the um, the mining stuff. Okay, just clearing the yoga room here, and it looks like we are done with level five. So I'm just going to duck my head real quickly into level six just to see what's going on. Some sort of bar here. Uh, it is getting quite late, so I don't want to spend too long here because... Ooh, there's a chest in there. Pure because I don't want to be here when they start running. And there's a big hole in the building down there. You also might notice it's a bit quieter since the last episode. I did get rid of those vultures that were flying around. There was two of them. So they were really, really annoying. So you're welcome. As a bonus out of that, I also got some feathers so that I can make some arrows. Surely there's some zombies in here. There we go. Oh, there's heaps. Okay, this is the problem. And they're ferals. Oh, crap. Okay, run, run. This is bad. Oh, there's heaps. Hey, bud. Feral. Feral. Two ferals. Feral. And the ferals seem to have no extra loot on them, which is kind of annoying. Oh. You're not a feral, you're just a standard big fella. Snowballs. All I got out of that was snowballs. Oh, I see. Gotcha. Let's just loot this stuff up and then we'll head back to the info. Some traps. I don't want to spend too much, you know, time out here at night. It's just too, it's just too hard. I mean, they're ferals anyway. Get hammered and electrical traps. Ammunitions box here. Nice bit of ammo there. Explosives magazine. One thing we are lacking is headlamps. I was just wondering, do these have any in them? <laughs> Bugger. I don't know how I'm supposed to get so many headlamps, but uh, I've only seen that one projector. There must be something else with them in it. I just got to find out where and what. Anyway, I think that's enough excitement for tonight. I'm going to head back down to info and I'll, uh, I'll see you down there.
Okay, so we're back down here at the info, and I was just wondering, how, how are we going for all these parts for these accessories for the gyrocopter? Let's go electrical parts, which are plenty of them, so we've got 33 of them. Headlamps, that's what we're struggling with, we only got half of them, four. Pipes, got a whole bunch of them. And mechanical parts, and springs. Okay, so it's really just the headlamps. I'll have to have a think about that, but until then, I'm going to have a play around here tonight, and I'll see you in the morning, when it's a bit safer. Okay, good morning everyone, it is day 5, and we are heading back to level 6, but before that, I just wanted to go back and get that vending machine that I missed, because it's got a lot of good parts in it that I need, uh, mainly forged iron. Okay, so we're back to level 6, this is where it's going to get interesting, and uh, let's get into it. Okay, some food there, that's good, because I'm pretty hungry. Remember when I said uh, a few episodes ago in uh, my last series that if there was a zombie in here, I'd shit myself? Well, I didn't shit myself. I came pretty damn close. Took her head off. If I could get a cooking pot here, it'd be super handy. Please, please, cooking pot. Dang it. Ooh, blueberry pie there. Max stamina bonus. I'll hang on to that. Ooh. It's a feral there. So it came out nice and easily. Can I shut this? Probably a better idea. Cooking weekly. Okay, so let's carry on with this rest of this level. In terms of fallback plan, I think I'm just going to run back across this beam to this area, if I need to. Because um, I don't really see another place I can hold up in terms of fighting positions. Two behind the bar. Loot up while I'm here. I still really need. Ooh, I see you. Bit of ammo there. Nice. Ah, oh, hell yeah. Got a new wrench and I got myself another skill point. Yep, there we go. Businessman. Go this way, bud. Don't break that. Ah, oh, there's more. Oh, a feral! Damn it! I should have taken more notice of him. Okay. Not too bad. And that right there is the end of level 6. Oops.
Okay, so I've made it back upstairs to level 7. Well, the entrance 2. Uh, I lost the stairwell when I took out the barrel, so I'm gonna have to replace it with some stairs. I think I can do this. Something like this. Yeah, that works. Ooh, looks like more construction materials. That's kinda handy. So right here we are, level 7. Halfway up the Dishong Tower. Okay, there's a whole bunch of materials here, but I think I'll do the same as last time and uh, clear it out first, then come back and grab any material I need. Ah! Son of a- Okay, I can use that as a good fallback point there. Ooh, Spear Hunter. Power attacks now penetrate and damage multiple enemies. Sick. Just what I needed. Oh, a whole bunch of magazines on that feral. Got a wiring magazine, get hammered, and scrapping for fun. Pretty glad there's a whole bunch more uh, materials up here because I do need some more for our base. And I think that's going to be the major problem with this whole challenge is finding enough materials. Got another saw there I can break down for a battery. Right. Oh, there we go. I was about to say I don't feel real safe um, in these open areas. I do like to have a doorway in between myself and, and the zombies. But that worked out okay. Handy land and a tools digest. Tools digest. Hopefully, no, um, forge your head in there. Oh! There's a feral coming. There's my forge ahead. I really need a fallback point. I must be upstairs. Whoever that is. Yes, I can see him up here. It's a feral businessman. Come down here, bud. There we go. We really are getting pretty high up. Is this all cloth? I might come back for that in a sec. It looks like this is the way we're going to go. So let's carry on this way. This will be my new fallout. Oh, it's not going to help me though. These doors are not good for fallback positions, just because they are really weak and they can break easily. Ferals. They're all ferals. Okay, okay. Oh, damn it. <sighs> for a scrapping. Okay, I'm not doing real good on the... Uh... I'm going to use one of these bandages. I really don't want to, but I... I haven't found a lot of meds. It's one thing I'm lacking on. Oh. Okay, there's a whole bunch. Let's go back to our fullback position. and a mining book that I've already read. I really hope there's a trader in this in this building. It's funny, like it wouldn't make sense to make the trader on the middle level. So somewhere around level seven, but probably just thinking too far into that. Where is this Zambi I can hear? Let's see if I can wake him up. Oh, there. Feral businessman. Oh, couple of ferals. This isn't good. Oh no, oh no, 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 not like this. Dang it. They just... It's just more than one all the time. Hey, that bandage I used before was kind of useless. A oh, heist magazine. Uh, motion detection devices do not recognize you for three seconds when sneaking. I haven't seen a lot of them, but I could come across them. 
It is, you know, a big tower. Where's this last zombie? There he is. Thirteen dukes. And with that, I'm pretty sure that is the level clear. So now it's just time to do a whole bunch of looting. Let me just double check that there is nothing... How do I even get out of here? That seems ominous. Anyway, so that is definitely the end of the level, so let's do some looting. Ooh, wiring tool there. Ooh, a jacket. Put that on. Ooh, a bandolier mod. That could be useful, but again, I still haven't got a uh, workbench, so that's not super handy just yet, but later on, why not? Ooh, some dye and a paintbrush. Not that I'm really worried about aesthetics in this challenge, but could make the place look nice. Okay, and that is level 7 cleared for the loot. Let's run down to the info center and uh, drop my stash off and we'll keep going, I think. We've still got a couple of hours of the day, although it is getting late. Okay, let's just run down to the info center and see how we feel. So down here at info, I've stashed all my loot away, but it's pretty late, so I wouldn't mind trying out my little, um, horde base if possible, but I can't seem to get any, now that I've blocked this off, I can't seem to get any uh, zombies coming in, which is good and bad because I kind of want them in now. So if I make a bit of ruckus, maybe they'll wander in. It's almost like putting up the, the doors stop them from spawning in, which is interesting. Come on, test my system. Like, oop, that's a problem. Cool, that worked all right. This doesn't look the best, but it does work really well with the spear. I'm just hoping that the uh, cop spit doesn't go through it. Yeah, it's morning and I just uh, got this iron helmet off a of Zambi at the front door. Do I want to wear it? I think I do. So let's get the mod off the current hood and let's wear the iron. I mean, why not? It will slow us down a little, but it'll be a little bit more protection as well. I'm not too worried about running. Well, I got to run away a lot uh, inside the tower, but at the same time I'm inside the tower, so I can't exactly run for long distances. So we'll see how that goes and I might... I'll keep that. Yeah, I'll keep that. I might use it later on. So we'll see how that goes. Anyway, let's go back up to level 8. I'm in desperate need for a cooking pot because I really need a forge and I need a workbench and all these things take a lot of duct tape and to make duct tape I need a cooking pot. So let's go up to level 8 and uh, hopefully we can find that. So yeah, I'll see you there. Okay, so this would be level 8 right here. I'm just going to have to break my way in. I just think this way is a little bit easier than going around, um, ooh, before, uh, yeah. I think this way is a little bit easier than going around through the elevator shaft, that's all. But I'm going to make sure I put a hatch down at this doorway, because this can be my fallback position. And we've got a whole bunch of zombies already. So it looks like we have another office level, hopefully we can find some kitchens. So many ferals. Looks like someone's actually made this area a bit of a, a bit of a safe haven. Come on, cooking pot. Come on. Damn it. I'm getting plenty of uh, murky water, but I can't, I can't boil it. Heist. Find 10% more silver, gold and diamonds when looting. If only I had someone to sell all that stuff to. So it does look like it wants me to go around the outside of the building, so a little bit of parkour. Which is not ideal, but it is what it is. Oh, scared the shit out of me. Bye bye. Oh, home cooking knife guy. I didn't want to do that, so let's move out here. See ya. Ah! 
Oh, there's a feral. Some dukes and a heist book they've already read. Hey, I think we're pretty good. Let's get this ammo, some club parts, and some uh, 762. Armor up, bow hunters, forge ahead. Vehicle adventures, electrical traps, and tech planet. Lucky looter. Find more food in loot. That is what I need right now, actually. And another forge ahead. So we're pretty clear. Let's uh, make sure we haven't got a cook pot here. Please let me be let me have one. Come on, come on, game. Come on, you can do it. Just one time. One. No, I don't want pumpkins. It's not looking good. Not looking good, team. Okay, it is 9.50, so what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to do a quick run back down to info, stash my stuff, have something to eat, and come straight back up, and we'll continue on to level 9, because that is level 8 cleared. Okay, so I'm finished downstairs. We are now on to level 9, I do believe, if I'm not counting incorrectly. I'm starting to lose track, but we're, we're going pretty well. So let's do the same thing again. Let's break down this door, and we're going to put a hatch here as our fallback position. Oh, is that a kitchen? Yes, straight into a kitchenette. Come on, give me, give me, give me a cooking pot. And hatch goes down. Lots of books in here. Oh. And... Will that woke up a lot of people? Let's go back to our fallback position. Oh, we have some ferals. I need to remember to keep some timber on me so I can repair these doors. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Come on, come on. Oh. Damn it, now I'm infected. Ah, damn these rads. Oh, I've also broken my leg. Perfect. Perfect. So I think the best idea is to run down to info, see if I can get myself some honey, uh, fix my infection, and see if I've got anything for my broken leg, because walking around with a broken leg is not ideal in the situation. All I can do is make the best of it. I think I have a splint. I could be wrong. Nothing. In fact, I don't even have any honey. Uh, this is a problem. Let me just see if the vending machine, uh, is gonna sell me some honey. That's probably my best bet, actually. Okay, nothing in these two vending machines. I can't remember what the last one was. Damn it. There's one. It really doesn't help me. Okay, it's not looking good. This could be the end of my, uh... Dishong Tower Challenge, and it's gonna come down to being poisoned... Slowly. not looking good. Okay, there's some loot in there, which is some ammunition and stuff. Goddamn party girls. No fun allowed. Okay, there's no time to muck around. Let's just, um... Try and find some honey or something before I die. Ferals. This is just slowing me down. It's 
not what I need. Sniper book there. Uh, reload rifles 10% faster. Whatever. Knife guy, rifle world. Alright, this could be bad. Medical. There's a medical center there. Okay, my broken leg's better, at least. Okay, it's 1800. I don't have much choice. I think it's... We, we have to go upstairs. Uh, try and find some meds. And then I'll have to come back and do some looting. I think that's my only option. Which could be the death of me either way, but we'll find out very soon. Plenty to loot at least. Surely we're going to find some meds in here. Are you sure about that? Okay, first room's a bust. Let me just go this way. Got a nurse there. Rad suit. Oh. I swear I got honey, but I, it might have just been the beer. Or, I know I got the book where I can, there's a chance of picking up honey if I knock down a tree, but there ain't too many trees around. Or meds, apparently. Well, that was the medical center, and I didn't find any meds. This could be the, this could be it. This could be the end of the series right now. Though we're not out of the medical center just yet. Come on, meds. Bugger. Okay, I'm getting real desperate now. I see some a med pile here. Come on, antibiotics. Damn it. Alright, we're, we're struggling now. We're at 5.3%. Honey won't save me now anyway. Threads. Uh... Read this book how to learn how to down a jeans. I don't care. Please, please, please. Damn it. There is the honey though, but I think it's probably too late. Let's just quickly have that now. I'm not sure if that was going to be enough. Do I have any more just in case? No. Well, I think it's as good as it's going to get. Okay, so while I'm here, I might as well finish the looting. And hopefully I can find myself another honey, at least. Still no cooking pot either. Shotgun weekly, wiring. Scrapping for fun. Sharp sticks. And a rifle book. Spear Hunter book. Uh, do 10% more damage with spears? Yes, please. Okay, I'm super encumbered, so let's go back down to info and stash our loot. And I think I'm going to call it a night there. So, oh, we're good. And good morning, and welcome to day 7, which is Horde Day. I did survive. I just managed to survive my infection, and it, in a weird stroke of luck, I had a bunch of nurses come in, and they dropped two antibiotics. So I used one, and I got one spare. I've also finished the forge, as you can see here, and I got myself a cooking pot, so I can actually make some glue, and I can also boil my water as well. So, good start to day 7. Uh, let's head back up to where we were, which was level 8, I believe, or 9. 
and carry on clearing our levels, and then we'll come back down and we'll face off this horde. All oh, right, it was it was level level nine was the last one we finished off. We had um we had this little kitchenette here and all these books, so it's level ten we're heading into. We're just ticking off the levels, so I'm just gonna finish off this staircase. Let me build some of these, and we'll we'll be right in there. If that has honey, I'll be annoyed. God damn you! Where are we? Have I been here? Oh no, yes, we have been here. Sorry, we've been to level ten, and this was a machine that I did check. It didn't have honey. So every night they must um, update, that's good to know. That's all very confusing, but okay, we're good. So the next level is the one we want. Okay, yes, this is very unlooted. So level 11 we're at. Okay, I've got my hatch down. Let's go wake up all these zombies and get rid of them uh, all in one go. So I'm going to shoot a oh, couple of ferals. So many businessmen. Let me just heal that up. Okay, this isn't working. Oh, right now, mommy, daddy button. All right, that's one way to do it. 16, bunch of dukes there, that's about it. That's pretty much all I get from these, uh, businessmen. So that was one area, slightly clear. Okay, so we got a bit of a park, hardcore parkour situation going on up here. So that's how we get to the next levels up. Uh, let's go through and loot this whole area, and then we'll carry on our way. Ooh! Double mod schematic. Again, I still need the, uh, I'm a little, uh, actually, I think I'm a one magazine away. Let me just check that. One magazine away from getting the, from getting the workstation. Nine out of ten. I've, I need one, one more to get the workstation unlocked. Okay. So that's another thing we're looking for. Forge your heads. Sharp sticks and a forge your head. Now we can do the workbench. Excellent. That's something I have to do before Horde Night. And we can do quality 5 spear. That's probably worth making, actually. Ah. Uh oh. Ah, f hell! That's all the ferals out of the way. 20% more damage just then. Nice. There's a heist book there. Two of them. I'll read them in a sec. Another heist book. Ah, awesome. So you can fall up to 15 meters without taking damage while carrying 5,000 dukes or more. I don't think I'm ever going to have that many dukes, but hell, why not? That was a lot of ferals. Nice little uh, ammo pile here. Bunch of stuff. Tools digest. We are getting pretty close to the top here. That is the roof right there. So the good thing about day seven is everything's going to reset. So I can basically go through and loot it all again. Well, I guess there's no point. Look, can I make that spear? I can. Okay, we're going to make it right now. Unfortunately, the higher I go, the more I think that maybe I there is no trader. Maybe I read that wrong. I don't know. But I, I haven't found one yet, so the chances of me finding one are pretty slim. All right, hardcore parkour. Let's do this. Parkour! Oh, Candy, you okay? I've fallen. Oh, you... Oh. Ah, I got her. Oh. It's like a main penthouse. Oh, I see a zambi. It's a Shazza. G'day, Shaz. Bye, Shaz. There's a Jono up here. See you, Jono. Bunch of stuff here, refrigerator, nothing useful. More beer. Plenty of beer. Not a lot of honey. Oh, candy, you son of a... Where did you come from? Oh, there's a rad there. I mean, a rad zombie. Let me just... Can you move? Oh, 
Also, five skill points to spend. I should probably think about doing something with that. Let's do that now before I forget. Sharp sticks. Iron spear quality one. I just made the quality five. Oh well. Let's have a think about these skill points before we go on. Out of those five, I'm definitely going to put... Because um, I can't go any higher in the spear. I need level three. Sorry, level five. So let's put two more points in perception. Another one into spear. Put another one into salvage operations. Or lucky looter, maybe. Actually, no. Let's increase our speed with our spear. The last point, we'll put it back into salvage operations. Okay, that should uh, keep us in a good stead tonight. Hopefully we'll find some more uh, spear magazines. I can get like a level 2 iron spear. But until then, level 1 I'll have to do. Military pile. I might make myself a bit of a hatch for back position here. Before I do that, we should probably loot this stuff here. Ooh, that's a nice amount of ammo. And there as well. There. Not a lot of zombies in this area. Uh, the last thing I say. Poncho. Kind of put that hatch there for no reason, but that's okay. Better be safe than sorry. Is there a way to open this that I'm not thinking of? Am I being stupid? I might need to go down from above. Let's let's double check that. Because if there's a way in from the top, I'm probably wasting my time. Let's head upstairs. No, before I do that, let's go stash this loot. Yes, let's do that. Extreme! Parkour! Parkour! <laughs> and I've just sprained my leg because I was being stupid and rushing down the stairs. So we made it back to info. I think I'm just going to sit here for nine minutes while my leg heals. Um, that's probably the best course of action. I don't want to head back upstairs with a sprained leg, so I'll do that and I'll I'll see you again back on level 13, wherever we were. Where, wherever we were, I'll see you back there. Okay, we're just down here in info and I I don't think I have time to go back up to where we were before. So I'm going to do some as much crafting as I can before Horde Night. I've got the workbench crafting right now. My sprain's all healed up. Was it, I was going to look at doing the iron spear. What does that take? So iron spear, we need forged iron, wood, I think we're good, I think we can do this. Okay, so it's just forged iron we're waiting on, so let's make some of that while we're here. And uh, while we're waiting for that, I'm just going to do the final touches in the base. So let's go do that now, and I'll come back, and oh, the workbench is ready, let's put that down now. And something like that. Okay, so while that's cooking, let's go and upgrade these blocks. Okay, we're good for the iron spear, let's make that up. Iron Spear. Done. No. And time got away from me, and the Horde is here. Bring it on. I think I better do a coffee, actually. It's kind of caught me on surprise. I wasn't, I was not prepared for this, but that's what happens. Uh, let's take four bites as well. Something like that. The coffee should help with the stamina. Oh, they're piling up. Uh-oh. Holy cow. This could be a problem. Oh no! This is bad. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. This could be it. I might, I might have just done, I've, I've... This could, this... No, not... Well, that is the end of that challenge. I actually had two goes at that because I respawned outside, ran back upstairs and came in for the second wave and I still died. So I've greatly underestimated the power of a wasteland horde on day seven. Well, friends, that is the end of the Dishong Tower challenge. That is the rules. One life, one game, and we are done. If anyone wants to see me try that again, let me know in the comments section because I would like to have another go at this. The main thing that held me back was resources. I couldn't really find enough resources to get myself secure enough in my little horde base here. I think the design worked okay. I just needed to re this really needed to be all concrete before even the first horde, which I didn't anticipate. What happens if I go outside? I'm just curious. Ah, oh, I do get hurt. 
That's it, friends. See you in the next video. Damn, Zambies.